I'll tell you what a gold mine is, those Harry Potter books. That's because it gives the other kids, the 98-pound weaklings, some hope. Oh, speaking of 98 pounds, I hear Ginny Sachs getting a 95-pound mold taken off her ass. Hey, some guy's wife. Come on. <laughs> Ralph told this funny fucking joke, though, at, um, at Albert's party. He goes, Ginny Sack had a 95-pound mole surgically taken off her ass. He said that? Yeah. And you think it's funny? That's in bad taste, huh? Listen, John. I just want to say, uh, I hope your feelings weren't hurt too bad and that it never got back to the missus. What the fuck are you talking about? You didn't hear the joke about Ginny? Yes. Never mind. Let it die at that. What joke? John, you're better off not hearing it. Trust me. Fuck that. I demand you tell me, Paulie. He's a two-faced fucking prick. I thought Ralph was your friend. Right. That's rich. Did you hear what my friend said about my wife? Made a crack about Ginny's waist. Something about her having a 90-pound mole on her ass. What well, that's, uh... That's deplorable. Who told you this? What's important is that it was said. Well, if he did say it, I didn't hear it. Because he knows better than to make a remark like that when I'm around. I want you to sanction the hit on Ralph Zifferano. What? Are you fucking kidding me? He violated my wife's honor. Ralph slept with Jenny? He insulted her. He made a very insensitive joke about her body to some friends of ours. What did he say? After repeating. That word's not good enough? Not if you want them clipped over it. He said... she was having a 90-pound mole removed from her ass. The implication was that her ass is so big she could have a mole that size removed from it. It's an off-colored remark. It was highly inappropriate. You want? I'll demand he's taxed. But clip him. Is, is it all just about money? I'll crack him good. I'll ask for 200 grand. 200 grand for insulting my wife? What's next, come on? You get the fuck up for a million? He wants to fuck her? I'm making a point. I'm talking about my wife's honor here. My honor. A mole on her ass? What's the joke? I still don't get it. It's not a joke, per se. It's... You had to be there. Real lack of standards, your generation. My day, John was right. A man would never be expected to stand for a remark like that. Fucked up thing is I don't even like Ralph. If he were drowning, I'd throw him a cinder block. Let me ask you something. You mentioned Ralph before. A few years ago, he had that beef with Johnny Sack. He made a crack about Ginny. You fucking mole on her ass or some shit. Yeah. Who the fuck would tell Johnny about that joke? How should I know? No, when you went down below, I thought I saw a whale. Oh, shit. Let me think of Jenny's sack. <laughs> a joke, Ralph, made about her. That was some funny shit. No matter what John said. You gotta have a sense of humor, right? Yeah. I heard you took an office job. Chubb insurance. <laughs> well, you told him, right? It's no big deal. I can hardly resist. Very funny tone, I don't know. Yeah. He was a funny prick, that Ralph. His gladiator fixation. Time he hit Georgie in the eye with the chain. <laughs> I'd have loved to see John's face when he heard that crack. Oh, he's fucking holier than now because he didn't fuck other women. It's the broomstick up his ass. <laughs> no. No offense, but... You ever had yourself checked for Tourette's? What? Tourette's syndrome. Seriously. 
Hey, hey, hey. You gotta take us some. I don't know. It's like some people grind their teeth. Well, I'm nervous, tense or something. Come on, you told John about that joke, right? It wasn't me, Tom. No? That's right. 